everyone, so today I'm here to talk to you about tanning products for the face and I've got a couple of fake tan products, the more kind of cosmetic -y products and just talking about fake tan for the face in general because a lot of you have been asking me about that recently and I definitely think that kind of on my face fake tan looks a lot better because my skin just responds better to being tanned, it just suits me more but it's something that I know a lot of people struggle with, getting the right tan on their face. Body is a little bit easier but your face can kind of have telltale signs and it can be a bit difficult. But I'm going to talk to you about my first option which to me is a really really foolproof option and something that I think pretty much all of you will enjoy. And this is the Alme Sunless Tanning Gel for Face. Now this is really really inexpensive, you can buy it from eBay, um, you can't really get it in store in the UK, probably in the US you can because it's an American brand I believe. But it's a tinted gel. So you can see here kind of by how grubby the packaging is. Tinted gel and you can just smooth this all over your face and it's kind of tinted so you do get a guide colour, you can see where it's going. I always like to kind of stick it down my chin and my neck and everywhere and it just helps to give your skin a kind of sun kissed glow. This is something that I would use pretty much most evenings um, over my moisturiser and what I do is when I do a proper fake tan, so like for example last night I did a proper fake tan, you can use a lot of the formulas for your body on your face as well. I've used things like cocoa brown on my face and the best method of applying those is doing it on a little cotton pad. So apply a little bit on a cotton pad and swipe it all over your face. What I normally do is I tend to use a cream version. So for example, the Sun Labs one or the Lawrence Way one, something like that, just because a cream version is just a little bit nicer to pop on your skin when it's kind of your face because it doesn't feel as drying as the mousse. So I'll swipe that all over my face with a cotton pad and it works really, really nicely. And and then the next morning when I wake up my face will kind of be pretty much tanned but always lighter than my body. And don't forget your face has kind of got more colour in it than your body has because it's a lot to do with kind of hormones and that kind of thing and your face just tends to kind of have a lot more pink and that kind of thing in it and if you've got any breakouts or anything like that so your face does tend to carry a bit more colour so it doesn't usually look kind of this flawless tan like you would have on your body. So that's what I do and then the second night over my moisturiser the other thing to point out is that the rate at which kind of the tan fades on your face is a lot a lot quicker than your body as well because you're putting makeup on your face you're washing your face with kind of slightly more um abrasive products if you use like a face scrub or something like that if you use acid um toners and things like that on your face tan breaks down a lot quicker on your face so i like to just kind of top it up and keep everything looking the same tone pretty much so i'll use this as i said foolproof very inexpensive and very very easy to use won't kind of break you out or anything and then another product that I use kind of maybe on like day three or day four when I'm kind of just trying to keep the glow but I'm not trying to kind of keep it looking super tanned because it's starting to fade on my body. Then I'll use this and this is the Clarins Radiance Plus Golden Glow Booster and they're just these little drops that you drop into your moisturiser. You can do as many as you want. I normally do about three or four. Uh, sorry, I've just got a bit of a tan on my finger. Um, I normally do about three or four, but you can kind of control however much you want, so that's really good for it. Pop it into your moisturiser and then put it on your face and it just helps give a little bit of a glow. It gives more of a warmth to your face, I find, than a tan necessarily, but it still works really nicely. And then another product that I have tried quite a bit recently, and I wanted to talk to you about this because it didn't work that great for me, but a lot of people I know have been really loving it. And it's the Moisture Self Tanning Night Moisture Mask from Vita Liberate looks like this and this is actually a gradual tanner so you kind of pop it on a few nights and the reason it didn't work for me was I didn't want to have to put it on night after night because it is quite moisturising so it will add a little bit too much moisture for my oily skin but if you've got dry skin this would be a really great option again I would put it on with a cotton pad just so you don't get any kind of um, streakiness on your hands but it is a really really lovely product and it works nicely if you have got slightly drier skin then I've got two products here that are kind of makeup products really but they help your face look tanned and if you don't want to tan your face and you just feel like that's not for you then these will work really nicely at just making your face match your body. This is what I'm wearing today instead of foundation and it's the Clarins Instant Light Radiance Boosting Complexion Base. I'm going to show you what this looks like on because it's, it's very unusual. Pop a little bit here. It's just this kind of bronzy tanned complexion 
face basically but it's really glowy and pretty when you put it on at first you think oh my god this is dark but it kind of mellows into the skin and if you can see now I think it looks really really pretty I've put on a lot of concealer with it because I've got kind of a little bit of blotchiness on my skin and pigmentation but it works really really nicely it just kind of evens out your skin tone makes everything look really tanned and a lot of the time I find when your skin is quite tanned you can actually get away with wearing a lot less makeup especially kind of base makeup because your skin's already got a bit of color to it so it doesn't need much so this is perfect for that kind of thing if you're similar coloring to me then maybe pick this up because it's really really nice for summer just evens everything out and makes your skin look really healthy and glowy and lovely without kind of having that cakey foundation look and then this is also from Vita Liberate and again I found this was a little bit patchy on me and I didn't love it but it's something that I think would appeal to a lot of people and it's a self tanning bronzer and how it comes out is actually really cool. It comes with this little kabuki brush, which is really nice. Then it looks like this. And you basically just pop on the bronzer. So it sort of looks like that. And you put it on and it kind of gradually over time helps to tan your face. Now it's really nice because you can kind of get a little bit um, of a kind of chiseled look with it. You know, you can do your temples, a little bit of contouring and your skin will just naturally look really glowy and like a, like you've had a little bit of contour session but on me I just found that the colour wasn't dark enough and it didn't really do much it was all right as a bronzer but I don't love using loose bronzers so it wasn't really for me but something that I think a lot of you would probably enjoy and it's a very kind of unusual product but that's it those are my um, kind of favourite products and tips and tricks for tanning your face you can always like I said not bother tanning your face and just wear a slightly darker foundation if you don't want to even invest in the Clarins product you can just use a slightly deeper foundation and it'll work nicely I find if you've tanned as well um, formulas like MAC face and body work really nicely as opposed to a heavier coverage foundation but I hope you found this helpful let me know if you've got any favorites in terms of tanning products for your face and I will see you next time